Good morning guys, welcome to a brand new day. I was so excited this morning realizing that I could ride Stella per vet's orders in my new saddle and saddle pad. I jumped out of bed faster than I have ever jumped out of bed, threw on some breeches, and ran downstairs only to realize that my house is such a massive mess, you guys. Ah, oh, so messy. One thing you guys might not know about me is that I hardly clean my house in the summer. In Canada, it is so cold in the winter and you only have such a limited time outside that I spend all summer, spring, and fall outside if I can. So today, I'm gonna clean my house, get it all ready for the summer so that it is manageable through the times that I'm not cleaning. But I wanted to tell you guys a crazy story first. I'm known for letting God guide me. I let God guide me. And you guys are probably thinking like, how do you let God guide you? And what I do is I look for signs. I let God direct me. So basically I came downstairs this morning and was looking through um, Facebook tax sale sites while I drink my coffee. Yeah, I do that. I don't have enough tax. I am always looking for a good deal. And I saw an ad that this girl said, hey, you guys, I'm looking for a book. I read it a long time ago. I hardly remember anything about it, but that this is what it was about, and it was a horse book. I don't remember the title, does anybody know? And then I was like, ooh, that kind of book would be good for me and my kids. And then somebody commented and said, oh, I know that book, the name of the book is No Small Things. And you can find it on Amazon. And I was like, oh, that's a good book for us. So whenever God speaks to me like that and directs me, I always follow through. So I went to Amazon and I looked up the book and I saw the title and I was like, oh, I think I have that book. And literally, I went to my bookshelf. Seriously, I went straight to my bookshelf and did this. First I noticed that my bookshelf was really messy and so I started cleaning it. And I went like this to pick up the book. Some books were sitting right on the top like this. And I picked it up and went like this. And there was the book. So I know that God intends for us to read this book just because things that are meant to happen happen really easily, really quickly, and really fast. And I believe that. And so this is the next book that I'm going to read to my kids. Another thing I like to do at the end of May, beginning of June, is when I do clean off my bookshelves, is plan some of the things that we're going to be studying next year. And I pull out those books and set them aside so that we can study. I have um, our little uh, microscope there that I bought this year and I also um, have the complete book of the microscope with internet links that we are going to study. So the inside of a body cell, isn't it beautiful? Like I love learning and I love books. So um, in September we're going to be studying all this stuff. We're also going to do a science fair next year and we're also going to, this is our classic story that we're going to read together uh, in September, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. This is our homeschool basket. This is what it kind of got looking like. Whoops. Um, and I will put all these books away. Um, this is a lot of the things that we studied this year. We did some chemistry, some science, a little bit of Lemieux. <laughs> Anyways, I'll clean this basket out and put all of our new stuff in and then I'll also be adding to this throughout the summer as I buy new curriculum. Alright, Sam and I are headed out because when you live on a farm and you have horses, there's something that you need all the time. Food. Yeah. Our horses go through a lot of grain. We are headed into the store to pick up our weekly grain. Uh, so we shop weekly for our food. We also need chicken food and we need shavings. Shavings and grain. Shavings and grain are our biggest purchases always. Going to the barn every day is like almost like our job. Like we get up and go to the go to work, have our breakfast, have our coffee, go to work, and then we go back up to the house, have lunch, do our chores, do our school, and then we come back to work. Martin horse treats are one of our favorite kind of treats. We've tried so many treats. We always come back to Martin's for a couple of reasons. One, they are super affordable, so super affordable. Our horses love them. Um, but if, and they have different size ranges available. So like before when we just had um, Sabrina at the barn and we didn't have her at home with us, we would buy like this little smaller bag. It would last us forever just because we'd only give the, give them to her after our rides each week. So 
um, that was great. But then if you have like a farm like us and you have more than one horse, then um, you can buy like a huge bag. They have like a ginormous bag that lasts us for a month and you guys know how many treats we give. And um, it's only 20 bucks. Like, can't get better than that. The horses love that. And the price makes giving treats super affordable for us. Another thing I like about Martin's treats are how tiny they are. They are really good because you can give one. And you can break one in half. You can break them in half. So if you need like to make them mini sized. You are such a cute. Hey, what are you doing? You are such a cute mini. I love this mini, even though she's the devil. So pretty. Like I think I got the right color. They had a lighter pink, and I do like light pink for her. I love it. My name is Laura, and I love synthetic saddles. I don't know, it's just, I mean, I love leather, but I love synthetic saddles. She does look so pretty. Of her yeah, I need to get a western, a western bridle. Okay, so Stella needs 20 minutes of walk trot. Just walk trot, walk trot, and we will be doing some of those. No, no canter. Oh God. Okay. You tell me when you're gonna do that, and we'll close the door, and we'll all get out of the way. I've been pushing away. Everybody I love I don't know what to do Need a sign from above I just want to be somebody who knows Who knows how to behave But I'm not even close won't you save, 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 save me? Won't you save, 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 save me? I am out here alone Cause there's nobody left I need someone to talk to Get this pain on my chest The bad things I've done And the people I've hurt Wanna take that part of me And leave it in the dirt Won't you save, 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 save me Won't you save, 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 save me You say
The minute I sat in this saddle, I was like, oh my God, this feels so good. Like, I don't know what, I don't know how to describe it. I, I must just be a fake leather saddle rider. I love it. I don't know if it fits me, but it feels so good, you guys. Remember when I showed you a video of Western pleasure riders at shows? Come like, on, oh, Stella. That. Then here you are turning into a Western pleasure rider. Like, I cannot wait till our camping trip. Can we go camping? Oh, she doesn't know who to go to. She's Hi. following you now. Yay! Yay! Got a video now. Walk, Sophia. Walk her. We're on your own now. Huh. <laughs> Stella has the most ground manners. <laughs> Stella and Storm. Stella today pushed past me. I really like riding Polly because I feel like I'm, I'm learning a lot on her, but Stella, I love riding Stella. There's a cat. Sophie, be careful. Do you bite? See, that's how they bite her. Just let her go. Yep. That's what you deserve. So she's having a tiny half of a carrot. Two little pieces of a carrot because literally this girl, we ask them the sky of her and she just does it. Look how calm she looks though. Like I see her sometimes where she looks nervous and, and stressed out, but she just looks good right now. We all left the room to put the saddle away and stuff. Oh, Gabby's there. And Stella just stood there. She's like, if I stay here where they gave me the carrot, maybe they'll come back. Aww. Yeah, it's a hot day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with the splash gun so I cool down. Won't you come on over? We can party till the sun's down. Baby, let me buy you a drink while we're dancing to play. up on this hill wow Kaylee's chicken you looking good girl she's cute chicken little. she's pretty little she is still little watch her fly don't do that go on chicken little yeah. move, move, move. Okay. mom you should have left you should have made Ruby come out here we I'll go get Ruby we actually put some little perches over there, but they all fell down. And 
I'm pretty sure the chickens like it back here. The last couple of days, every time I come to check on the chickens, they look so happy. They'll be sitting on here sleeping. They'll be over here in the corner sleeping. It makes me super happy to see them. Gabby, what are you doing to that turkey? I'm trying to catch the turkey. Hello, Turk. This is our biggest red one and the darkest colored one. But they look good. They look clean. Her name is like, Look at how clean she looks. Her name is Turkey. A clean chicken is a happy chicken. Uh, they climb up and down this and chicken, thing really well. Oh, she's pretty, Gabby. She's chicken little. See, oh, yeah. I was like, I was like, who's that red one? I'm like, that's turkey. So in the past, when we've had chickens, I never got barred rock chickens because they say that they're a little bit more aggressive than like the Rhode Island red on the leghorn. And our, <laughs> our barred rock. Chicken <laughs> Chickens. Our barn rock. Our barn rock is named Chicken Strips. It's yeah. Dad's chicken. Yeah, and she's literally like the the quietest. Like she doesn't fight people. She's such a good little chicken. Oh, oh she pecked me. Me. She pecked you? Yeah. Well, you know what, Gabby? Like Dang, some people no. deserve to be pecked. No, just joking. Nobody deserves to be to pecked. And she's like, nah, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got the little backyard mixes in there, and they're cute. They just look like re regular road eye. They just look like regular Rhode Island Reds. Just a little bit, them. yeah, just with a little bit of white in them. They're cute. Yes. So this is like, here, go down. So this is like a, a Rhode Island Red and a Leghorn. So like Gabby's red one and the white one mixed together. This is what they, the... <laughs> she's cute. Is Bella mine? Ruby's like, I just want to kiss her. Yeah, sure you I do. I want to eat her. She's cute. They're really cute. You guys are so cute! So, I just wanted to say before we end today's video that I felt really like we had a really good ride today. I felt like we learned a lot this week and we did a lot this week and Gabby rode Stella until she was sweaty and she kept on trying to go into the canter but she was a bit rough so Gabby kept bringing her back down and slowing her down until, yeah, like she did really good. And also, same with Finn, Sophie uh, continued on with her lesson and Finn was bitless because of his teeth and he did so good. Like he just, and we've ridden him bitless before and he wasn't as good as he was today. Get Ben. Gabby in the ben. chicken coop. <laughs> Quick, push her and lock her in! <laughs> oh no! It's getting kind of crazy up in here. Got that DJ playing music, everybody wants to hear it. Yeah. Up in here, everybody wants a ride. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.